Hello everyone. My nickname is Amo. Today I brought a sake, like the picture on the left. So the sake's name is Kagamiyama. The brewery is Koedo Kagamiyama Shuzo. So the sake name Kagamiyama is coming from the name of Shuzo. Their location is in Saitama Prefecture. It's where I was born. So the location of the brewery, they're located in Kawagoe City. Kawagoe is、uh, famous for Retro Street. So the picture on right here, the appearance kept from Edo period, which is from 1603 to 1868.、Um, Edo's people's hairstyle, Chonmage, is looking like this. Very strange. It's unbelievable that it's just 160 years ago. People had this hairstyle. So, my grandfather's grandfather might have had this hairstyle.、Mm, it's funny, isn't it? Close to Kawagoe, there's a、um, city called Chichibu. And in Chichibu, there's a、um, park called Hitsujiyama Park. It's famous for ground cherry blossom, like this picture.、Um, the flowers bloom from middle of April to beginning of May. Oh, the famous food from Saitama. I was really wondering which one to choose, but I decided to bring、um, Higashi Matsuyama Yakitori. It's served with special spicy miso like this. The reason I chose this is that、um, last week there was a baseball event, World Baseball Classic, and Mr. Newt Bar is playing in、um, Cardinals. He's now a very famous baseball player.、Um, He played World Baseball Classic as Japanese national team, and his mother's hometown is Higashi Matsuyama. And now, Higashi Matsuyama is a lot of Japanese people now know this name. Now, let's check the spec of Kagamiyama. Type of sake is written Tokubetsu Junmai, but I think it is the、um, same meaning as Junmai Ginjo. The type of rice. Is omachi 100%. Polish ratio. There's no information, but it should be between 50 to 60%. Location is Saitama Prefecture, written here. And option, it has three options. So number one is written as purple, Muroka. Option two, Nama. Option three, Genshu. I will explain in the next page. Reference information alcohol rate is 16% written here. Sake de r e e d and acidity, there's no information for this. And also, there's a caution about the storage in this brown pod. It says make sure to store it in the fridge since it's nama sake. Now, let's check the spec in detail. One by one. So, type of sake, it's Junmai Ginjo. So, the aroma should be gorgeous and fruity. Body is medium body. Fruitiness, acidity, complexity is, I think, it's in the middle range. And sharpness, it should be less. Step two, rice, it's Omachi 100%. The classical rice used over 160 years.、Um, the body should be medium body. Sweetness, acidity, and sharpness is in the middle range. Complexity, I think it's quite complex. Step three, water. It's coming from Saitama Prefecture. Living, it should be light and sweet. And at the end, so optional process, it has. Muroka, Nama, and Genshu. So, Muroka means unfiltered, which、uh, brings rice particle inside. But I checked the bottle and it didn't have a particle, so I need to learn more about this. So, sometimes、um, when it's written Muroka, it has particle inside and it's cloudy color and it's adding small sweetness and acidity. So, the option two, Nama, it means unpasteurized. 
so which is bringing fresh taste and sometimes sparkling but this time it's I think it's not sparkling and that last last one it's Genshu so it means water not added um, normally if the alcohol ratio is around 70% this time it's 60% um, so it's in the range and this will give you a wild taste so my guess everything is balanced and water should add lightness and sweetness additionally the special process of muroka is adding sweetness and acidity and also nama and genshu process is giving fresh and wild taste before going to the drinking process i would like to share the result of the taste so it was very fruity very smooth and had a complexity strength sharpness and sweetness was in the middle acidity was in the was quite less aroma was very fruity and gorgeous like a pear and the taste became sweeter and smooth while sake temperature gradually increased also the taste was fresh and a little bit wild as usual it was very delicious now drinking time yes so as usual I'm sorry I will start with beer come by um, usually I'm recording the movie on Friday evening but today is actually Saturday um, yesterday there was um, my colleagues farewell party in Tokyo I drank quite a lot yesterday and the damage is still remaining today so maybe I may not be possible to drink one bottle of sake actually I know nobody's asking me to drink one bottle but <laughs> normally I drink one bottle so let's see so today's menu I have kakina as a vegetable spinach boiled spinach and broccoli and uh, Konyak noodles cooked with soy sauce. Mm. Similar to the menu when I had uh, Guma Prefecture's um, sake, which is Mizubasho. But uh, for a main dish, I have yakitori. So I'm looking forward to it. Now, so as usual, for vegetables, I use Aojiso dressing. Same for spinach. I will start from cooking. <clears throat> it seems to be that the neighbor gave us a, a lot of kakina and a lot of stock <laughs> in the kitchen, so I'm eating this almost every day now. Mm. But it's good, so it's okay for me. This konyak noodle is good. I think I like this more than the tama konyaku I had last time. But of course, uh, the tama konyaku you can eat at Ikahons and this is really, really good. Damn, konyak noodle is so good. I already finished it. I should have taken more. <clears throat> okay, I'm done with appetizers. So let me finish the beer and go to the main event. Sake and yakitori. Now, here it comes. So, yakitori, this is chicken.
color is clear but maybe a little bit yellow now aroma mm, very fruity now let me taste it mm, interesting this is good it's fresh and wild First you will taste fruity and in between there's complexity of this is a little bit spicy I would say. Mm -hmm. Not that sweet. So so sharp. This is good. So let me eat yakitori. So this smaller ones i bought it at yakitori restaurant izakaya as a takeout and this big one i bought it in the supermarket this is um there's garlic in between it's chicken garlic chicken garlic chicken garlic chicken so um if you have a chance or you find a garlic yakitori, I really recommend it. It's really good. It's really good. And I would put on shichimi. It's uh, kind of a hot, not a pepper, but and this is also yuzu shichimi. So I like yuzu. Gives you a fresh taste. Very delicious. And refresh my mouth with sake. Fruity, very fresh, a little bit spicy, quite dry. Not that sweet as I thought, and I don't feel so much acid. I thought I could feel sweetness and acid a little bit more since uh, omachi, what I learned is that it's quite balanced. Mm. Also the water from Saitama Prefecture is giving light and sweet, wasn't it? But it's not that sweet. But it's quite sharp so... Fresh your mouth. Very good. Maybe if it gets a little bit warmer, maybe I will not feel this spicy taste anymore. Because I remember from Hatsumidori, the first one, the aftertaste I could feel the spice, but when it gets a little bit warmer, then that spicy disappeared. Now let me try the yakitori from Yakitori Izakaya Takeout. It's first time to, for me to eat this. This is also good. So the sauce is light, so I can feel the taste of chicken more than the one from the supermarket. This is also very good. So normally, Genshu I feel very wild and strong taste, but this one is not that strong taste and too much wild. Everything is balanced. Now I think the sake's temperature is now close to the 10 degrees. It's a little bit changed now. Now the aroma is gorgeous close to pear. First taste fruity, then sweetness comes. Acidity so no, not so much. And spicy disappeared. Sharpness don't change. 
freshness and wild taste still remains. Now, I learned that cold sake, I need to drink at 10 degrees, not 5. Until now, for 10 years, I was drinking cold sake starting with 5 degrees. Yeah, I, I, now I can also feel a little bit of acid. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, I think this is really first time for me to drink a sake from Saitama Prefecture. I didn't know that Saitan Prefecture has a good sake like this. Now the time goes by. The sake, the taste is getting stronger. And I could, the aftertaste is also getting stronger. Mm. So I think it, you can also use this after the meal. Just relax and drink sake. So today I still have almost half remaining but I think I will stop here today. Okay. So thank you for watching. See you next week.